Welcome to Fashion Star, where our three superstar fashion mentors continue to lead their teams of designers to success. You guys killed it. It was ridiculous. Jessica Simpson. Her clothing line is the top-selling celebrity fashion brand, grossing over $1 billion in retail sales and including a newly released maternity line inspired by her own growing family. I'm rooting for you. I'm going to be fighting for you up there. Nicole Ritchie. From best dressed on the red carpet to entrepreneur of the year, her style has inspired a generation of fashionistas. From jewelry to apparel to fragrance, Nicole's designs are what America is wearing. I'll tell you an issue that you're gonna have. And John Varvatos, this four-time menswear designer of the year, designs everything from sneakers to cars. John's edgy inspiration makes him one of the most celebrated designers in the business. We gotta keep pushing, we gotta kick everybody's butt, you know? I know. Okay. This season, the mentors are working with their own hand-picked team of designers. Yeah. Last week, seven designers sold their clothes to the retailers and watched their designs sell out across America. But some wow. fell short. Freaking out. Nice knowing you guys. I failed. And at the end of the night, the mentors put two designers up for elimination. My fingers are crossed for you. And the buyers sent one of Jessica's designers home. Don't worry, you're not our fashion star. Leaving three designers on Team Jessica, three on Team Nicole, and four on Team John. <laughs> Tonight. We all deserve to wear the same things. The mentors help their teams create pieces that fit every body type all about finding the areas of a woman's body that she's going to want to show off. Pushing them one step closer to winning it all. An exclusive collection with three of the biggest retailers, Macy's, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Express. Who will you buy, America? Tonight on Fashion Star. Welcome back to Fashion Star, where undiscovered designers compete for an exclusive line in three of America's biggest retailers. Of course, overseeing all of the action are incredible mentors, Jessica Simpson, John Barbatos, and Nicole Ritchie. This week, our designers were challenged to prove that size doesn't matter and create pieces that appeal to all shapes and body types. Their models will have two different builds, but they'll have to create one stunning look. Let's take a look at how the designers handled this week's challenge to create a fashionable look for all shapes and sizes. We are here for another challenge, eh? Yes. Hey, we're the only team with four. I know, yeah. and yeah. we're all gonna get bought this week. It's a good feeling to be the uh, only mentor with four designers still standing. While we're designing clothes for this specific runway and we have these models, they have to look good in every size. My challenge is that like, I design things that people always assume that they can't wear it as well. Right now, I feel like I have three very strong designers on my team. Definitely a little bit concerned about Priscilla. I need to make sure that she gets a little bit more commercial so that the buyers kind of get her. How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous. <laughs> Our group is dwindling. <laughs> I miss touring. I'm gonna, I, I know. I'm down to only three designers. The pressure is on because my name is on the line here. I don't know what I'm going to do if we don't pull through this week. Our challenge is dressing for <laughs> all sizes, play up the sexiness, you oh, know, yeah. like still follow some sort of trend. Okay. Every woman has something about their body that they love, and it's all about finding the areas of a woman's body that she's going to want to show off, yeah. you know? Little details in life are the things that make or break you. So the collar being the right shape, the fit being right. She yeah. needs to feel, he needs to feel yeah. really confident, so spot you know? On. I think every challenge is a tough challenge, but this one really, I feel, is special because I've struggled with a lot of body image issues, you know, my whole life. I had a serious eating disorder. Nothing is worse than not feeling comfortable in your own skin, in your own clothes. And for me, it's like, I'm not a skinny girl, so I'm a girl with curves, so I'm excited to do something that actually would fit me too. I'm the only plus size girl in the competition. When I go shopping, I feel a little depressed. All the cool stuff is made in small sizes. Don't think about them as like they're different. They're the yeah, same woman. They want the same things. I feel like sometimes people think that the curvy girls could not be sexy or could not be pretty. So that's why I'm here, to design for that woman who wants to stand out from the crowd and be different in any size. We're going to go all the way, guys. <laughs> this week, David, you got you to gotta do it for me. The past two weeks, I've really, really fought for you. 
Now I'm getting nervous. Good. He'll, he'll give us a show. I'm really worried about David. He hasn't made a cell yet, so he's going to be under the microscope. It's not bad what you're doing. No. It takes me a little bit longer to understand what's going on. I really believe that he's a talented designer, but he gets in his head and like freaks out a little bit. See you up there. Oh my god, now I'm nervous again. <laughs> I've heard the retailers talk a few times about how these designers are not necessarily designing for spring. So John, Jessica, and I are going to go fabric shopping with them and just really make sure that they're getting the best fabric that they possibly can. What I wanted to do is the colored black dress. The part where you see the white, that's going to be black. And where you see I shaded them, that's going to be red. Looking at this dress, I do feel like you already have this going against you because it's spring. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because it's plus size, and I want to make sure. It you want to make sure figure. that she looks the best that when she can. When you have black I get it. on the sides, it makes you look leaner. I do understand this is Joanna's area, but I don't know if the buyers are going to get it. This week, I really want to please. Mm -hmm. so I really, I really want like yeah. Macy's because she's tough, and I like that about her. Having sold to Saks in the first showcase, having sold to Express in the second showcase, makes me want Macy's. I need to put my clothes into all three stores because ultimately, that's what it's going to come down to. I think a peplum might be really nice. Okay, it's so flattering because it hides the bulges. So a peplum is attached to the waist. It's almost like a semicircle skirt. It's a big trend right now that we're seeing all over the runways. Good luck. Thank you. It's going to be great. Thank you. I believe that Hunter knows how to design for a woman's body, and that's so important. And she listens. That's what makes someone great. I'll never forget, like, this year, several times this year, where I had never felt like I was more ready to, like, give up. Like, tears, hard tears. For me, this competition is extremely personal. You know, I've had ups and downs this year. Many doors have been closed in my career. I often wondered, you know, am I a good designer? You start having self-doubt. Very pretty. It's going to be really pretty. Coming to this competition is reigniting that deep love and reassured me that I do belong in this business. And I want to do this forever. Can't wait to see this on the model. Oh my god. I need a cuddle. That's what I need. It was really shocking last week because I really did expect to buy. It's so sad. Like, I'm scared to do any, like, real crazy design here. Maybe not everybody can understand me. It is a very distinct quality to everything I do. Polka dots, polka dot, lace. Cut out at the waist. I'm going for the gold. Growing up, I didn't know where I fit. I grew up in a Muslim household. To feel like an outcast when you're a child just for being different or looking different, and then coming to a place like this where you're on a platform to the world and still feel that same emotion, you know, it's hard. I just want to make sure that no matter what size it is, that it's not just for a very specific woman. Priscilla is a very specific designer. 100% of her inspiration is vintage from the 1950s. And while I appreciate her inspiration, you have to take your inspiration and make it modern and make it now. And that's where I'm having trouble with her. Try to imagine the polka dots on the larger size. I think I, it'll be cute. Do you think, okay. I'm gonna go 50s. Pinup sort of style. I am using lace and scallops and polka dots and cutouts. I wanna prove to America that, yeah, any woman can wear my clothes. It's not just for skinny bitches. Oh my God, I love it. So even, it makes her arm look smaller. Yeah. That's so good. I know that I'm taking a risk by doing a tunic when everybody else is still doing a dress, but I really want to show how versatile of a designer I can be. Everyone's doing dresses, so I don't yeah. know if that's going to be a good thing for me or... No, I like that you're doing, because if you're going to win this thing, if you're going to get further, they want to see the breadth of what you're capable of mm -hmm. doing. Cassandra, she's probably the most versatile in terms of the background of all of the designers. She's worked for brands like Tahari, and she has both both men's and women's experience. This week, she's the only designer that's doing not just a dress. I'm waiting to see how it turns out here, but I feel good about her. Uh, no, it's really cool. It's like... I hope. This whole thing always makes you question yourself. These are cut and painted over. Like, this makes it whimsical in spring. Uh -huh. yeah. I wanted to be an artist ever since I was a kid. My dad said that I had to study something with my feet on the ground. So I did study business first. So as soon as I graduated, I gave my dad my two diplomas and I said, now I go for my dream. It's like a jacket dress, no? A-line, so it's very simple. 
I love this piece and like I would wear it. The flowers, the white coming out of the black, but is it going to flatter my plus size model? That's my concern. Should we split this so we can make it attach better? I have done bigger and taller guys before. I've dressed a bunch of basketball players. I know that the big and tall guy doesn't have very many options. Is it a collared shirt? No. Oh, OK. What is it? Cardigan. Oh, you're doing a cardigan now? The garment that I'm making this week is a reversible cardigan. My gut is th this is the sleeves. Has your gut been right so far? <laughs> when you start getting nervous and we start getting the pressure, just the anxiety starts stepping in. Maybe what I can do is mix these two fabrics up. I also have this, but not a lot. No, you don't like it? David, he's like, can I get your opinion? Can I get your opinion? Uh, can I get your opinion? He's like, hey, you, ant on the floor. Can I get your opinion of this jacket? What should I do? If you were doing guys, what would you um, do? David needs to make up his mind yesterday. He's been given a chance to stay, and he needs to let go of his insecurities and start designing with a little bit of abandon. Watch him at the 11th hour. I'm scrapping everything. I'm, I'm going back jacket. to the party. I'm going to do a jacket. <laughs> Gotta knock this out. I've got no more white slips for tardy excuses. Coming up. I love red and I love black. The competition heats up. I hate her outfit. It's like a clown. Johanna's dress is the gaudiest thing I've ever seen. I would expect her to be the first one to understand what looks good on a bigger girl. And later, the bidding begins. What look will you buy, America? Let's hear it for Team JV! Look at how fast I am. Look at this. I'm like a speedy Gonzales over here. This week's challenge is to make something for everyone. So we have to design one outfit that can fit a plus size model and a regular size model. That's really, really, Isn't really it? pretty. Yeah. It's not something we've ever done. Jesse and I are sweater knit designers, but our ultimate goal is to take our brand and mass market. If we can do this and get bought, it's like kind of a badge. Like, oh, you, yeah. we, we can do it. So what you guys are doing. Our design. We've got this great top and this ponte pencil skirt. Maybe draping it, yeah. like almost cow a little bit in yeah. the back. I love a cow neck. It looks a little bit more elegant and flattering on bustier women, I know because I have boobies myself. Thank you, you so much. Just a whole bunch of time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good about designing for real women of every shape, size, color, age. The first celebrity to ever wear one of my pieces was Jennifer Hudson, and she wore a totally skinny, body-conscious dress, but she's still a curvy woman. Oh, it's like the tree that throws apples at Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Oh, you totally. Yeah. Totally get it. Yeah. My dress this week is a tree, and much like trees, our shapes are all different. This part of the dress is gonna be very, very finished on its own, and then just those little touches, I think mostly on the back, and then maybe a little bit coming forward like a brooch or something. Daniel's dress is coming off to me a little bit more like an art piece, but at the same time, Daniel's a risky guy. I am nervous because it's like, you don't want her to look like she's wearing a tree costume. Yeah. But um, you've been taking risks this entire time, so you're not going to stop on the third week, right? No, hell no. <laughs> if you can pull this off, the intricacy of this dress is going to be ridiculous. Would you wear it? I would wear it. All right. Yeah. If it doesn't suck. If it sucks, I'm not going to wear it or be your friend. OK. Or speak to you ever again. All right. All right. <laughs> it's a tree. What store do you think the dress will fit in? It definitely looks like an express dress. It is. Are you changing your colorway? No. I love red and I love black. Nicole told me she's a little bit afraid of me using black and red. It's important for me to keep true to myself and make sure that when you see my collection, you know it's me, you know that's my colors, you know that's what I stand for. Red and black was hot and I'm keeping it hot. I want to make sure like she's drama when she's down the runway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good length. I'm worried about Amber's just because it's freaking backless again. Like, there are I'm, only I'm, so many women you know that will buy something yeah. that they can't wear a bra with. Well, if you can't wear a bra with it, forget it. As the competition kind of gets more and more intense, everyone is starting to voice their opinions. And it's not always going to be positive. I like it a little shorter. Ooh. I hate her outfit. 
hate it like with a passion. It's like a clown. Johanna's dress is the gaudiest thing I've ever seen. You just don't put red and black together that way. I would expect her to be the first one to understand what looks good on a bigger girl. To me, it looks tacky, like gaudy. I mean, if that's what they like, then I'm screwed. We have 40 minutes to finish everything. I think we don't have time. We need to mark and do and then sew and everything together. OK. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Thank God my guy is not that big. I'd be screwed. Because Dave and I are the only two men's designers, I'm competing against him. My guy's not that big at all. No. I hope I get more points for a bigger guy. The thing with David's piece is that a, a jersey cardigan on a guy that's not fit can show a lot of your weight. I'm loving it, actually. <laughs> hey, so I, I can go home with this? <laughs> oh my gosh, this works. My whole goal was to make the big guy happy. Yeah, feels good. I think Brandon, he's starting to get a little intimidated by me. And I think after my cardigan design, he's going to start taking a back seat to me, and I'm going to go. Coming up, John's designers face the buyers. Yeah. I love this dress. Yeah. And later, will Jessica's advice pay off for Jesse Ray and Garrett? Do I hear any bids? I mean, my heart is pounding. We are just moments away from you being able to purchase these amazing designs. Welcome back to Fashion Star, where designers are competing for a $3 million contract and their own exclusive fashion line in Macy's, Saks Fifth Avenue and Express. And tonight, our designers are creating looks for all shapes and body types, proving that size doesn't matter. John's designers are getting ready to showcase their looks backstage. I agree with you on the bangs. I'll just use a little small professional hairspray so that nothing really you know, gets out of place too much. I think it looks really good. 12? Yeah, yeah, we need the size 12. I'm just starting to psych myself out, like, oh my gosh, does this look like a soccer jersey? Is this the New York Giants colors? <laughs> and I'm really just like, I hope the buyers get it. OK, guys. All right, let's keep it all Please four of us again. Smile okay. at me. Oh, yeah, I'm already <laughs> smiling. We got to keep pushing. We got to kick everybody's butt, remember? I know. Yeah, yeah, okay. Showcasing their designs first, here are John's designers. She's looking great, looks great on her. Uh -huh. I love the tail in the back, too. This one's cute on her. The color's cute. This is really cute. This is super cute. I though. really like it. She did those flowers all by hand. She looks adorable in it. And what's nice is you could wear it as a coat, too. I think he's going to get bought, too.
true. John, how did you feel your team did tonight? Well, first of all, coming into tonight, we were the team to beat. Each one of these designers have already been bought at least once, some twice. I still think we're the team to beat, for sure. Aww. Fighting talk. Okay, designers, it's time to face the buyers. Cassandra, come here, pop top. <laughs> Do I hear any bids tonight for Cassandra's top? Come on, Macy's Express. Macy's, do I hear higher than $75,000 from you? I'm gonna let Express have this one. Okay. But I commend you for showing us that you have range. And I hope the other designers are thinking about how you really need to be stepping out and showing us you can do more than dresses. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Cassandra, you really took to the challenge today. So your geometric color blocking put the attention on the right parts for all body shapes and sizes. Well done. Perfect, thank you so much. Congrats. Thank you. Come on, Sylvia. <laughs> Let's see if the buyers have an offer for Sylvia. It's down to Macy's. It's the last hope. Woo! I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I love this dress. It's what we call smart design at Macy's. It looks awesome on a size two, but also on a size 12. Thank you. When we come back, our remaining designers get their shot at facing the buyers. Will any of them get an offer? Find out next. This is Fashion Star. On sale right now at Express is Cassandra's tunic, and Macy's is selling Sylvia's A-line coat dress. Supplies are limited, so go buy now. Coming up, Brandon and Amber face the buyers. Yeah! These guys did it. Yeah! Yeah! Welcome back to Fashion Star. Moments ago, two of our designers faced the buyers. Now it's time for our remaining designers to find out if they received any offers. Okay, Amber, it's your turn. Do I have any offers tonight for Amber? Hmm. Hey, 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 okay. Do I hear higher than 55? K from you, Express. We are going to actually stay where we're at. $55,000 worth of your clothing is available right now. We're really pleased. The color, the leather and lace details. So we're excited to add you to the family at Saks Fifth Avenue. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Brandon. <laughs> Buyers, do I have any bids for Brandon's shirt tonight? Okay, no offer from Sax. Yes! There we go. There we go. You're gonna sell out in seconds, I swear. <laughs> Woo -hoo! There we go. Yeah! Express, do I hear higher than $80,000? Brandon, we're actually gonna hold where we okay. are. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I have to tell you what it's all about the details, the fit, the finesse. And I think you did a wonderful job with all of those. So Thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much. 
John. He knocked it out of the park. These guys did it. Let's uh, let's hear it for Team JV. Yeah, yeah. Very proud of you. Nicole, Jessica, they have just taken quite a lot of money out of the purses of the buyers. How are you guys feeling? I'm a little nervous, but I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty competitive, so I'm over here like, oh, oh. And Nicole? You know, it is my job to be their cheerleader, so start digging in your wallets, guys, because you're about to see some amazing designs. Nice. <laughs> Right now, Nicole's designers are ready to showcase their looks to the buyers. I need all models to line up outside. Can somebody help me with this? Okay. Thing? Could you do this side? I think she'll do that side. Do you feel awesome? Yes, I do. It's gorgeous on you. The name of this show is Fashion Star. If someone doesn't buy this dress, it is a crime against fashion. It's not fashion sell the most of a boring dress. We are rolling. Let's make them feel proud. Proving that size doesn't matter, these are the pieces from Nicole's designers. The needs to be a little bit long. Yeah, it's not working here at all. You're right, that's, that's what the problem is. So cute! The cutout, I don't understand. You know, everything can't have a cutout. The fit's not right. The finishing is not where it should be. I'm so nervous. This looks very designed and very expensive. It's really well done for the time that they have to do it, you know? Nicole, what do you think of your gang? There were many surprises. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It is now time to face the buyers. Priscilla, you're up. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Let's see what the buyers think of Priscilla's piece. All right. Erica, why didn't Express go for this? You put yourself in a really specific category. So in order for you to succeed in this competition, you're going to have to start thinking a lot more globally. Yeah, I mean, the funny thing about you saying that is that everything I feel like I did this time was somewhat practical. I mean, like, who I am is a little bit out there. I'm asking you to reel in and then reel in a little bit more. Sure. Joanna, you're up. Buyers, do I hear any offers for Joanna? Erica? The color choice was not right for spring. Um, it's definitely along the lines of like a holiday buy. Joanna, we had talked about color a lot. I just wasn't on board tonight. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Joanna. <laughs> Daniel. Don't be shy. <laughs> Buyers, what did you think of Daniel's dress? Mm. Wow. 
Taron? I just don't think it worked for both sizes, and I thought it was a little bit gimmicky. I think you can do much better. Absolutely. Thanks. Joanna, Priscilla, and Daniel, your clothes obviously didn't sell tonight, and so all three of you will be up to face elimination at the end of the show. Thank you, designers. I'm terrified to come back here. <laughs> On sale right now at Saks is Amber's lace dress, and Macy's is selling Brandon's collared shirt. Go online now before these great designs sell out. Coming up, Jessica's team faces the buyers. Woo! Will David get his first bid? Come on, Macy's, what do you got? It's Fashion Star, where every design bought on stage can be bought by you at home. And tonight, our designers are creating looks for all shapes and body types, proving that size doesn't matter. Moments ago, Jessica was backstage with her designers. Is there anything that you guys are worried about? What are you talking about? <laughs> um, I'm rooting for you. I'm going to be fighting for you up there. All of you guys. I mean, I think you guys definitely deserve to be here until next week. Whenever I see leopard print, my automatic go-to color is a red lip. This is neon red from our the Maybelline Color Sensational Vivid color line because it's so feminine and gorgeous and represents those dresses. Love it. So important to have cohesion. The hair, the makeup. You'll look so good. I'm trying to prove to the world and prove to myself I deserve to be here. Go, boys. Yeah. Here are the pieces from Jessica's designers. material is the way I like the crown neck because it really falls nicely. And the fits are great on these. See. Yeah, it's reversible. You can wear it on the black side as well. I like that. Jessica, what did you think? What you guys did this week, you really stepped it up and showed America that you can design for each and every one of them. I feel like a proud mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, designers, it's time to face the buyers. Jesse, Ray, and Garrett, you're up. <laughs> buyers. Do I have any bids for Jesse Ray and Garrett? No offer from Express. Oh. <laughs> okay, Caprice, are you willing to go higher than 55,000? You know what? I'm not going to go higher, but we'll see you next week, and I can't wait. Awesome. Wait. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. <laughs> Woo! Well done. We're Thank really you. happy and look forward to working with you at Saks Fifth Avenue. Amazing. Thank you so much, Karen. All right, guys. Congrats. Thank you. David. <laughs> D 
Do I hear any bid for David's cardigan? Let's do this, guys. <laughs> no <laughs> offer from Express. Come on, Macy's, what do you got? I mean, my heart is pounding. Your heart's pounding. <laughs> On sale right now at Saks is Jessie Ray and Garrett's cowl neck dress, and all the clothes that have been purchased this evening are available. Coming up, will Hunter make a sale or buckle under the pressure? You just wonder, you know, how you're gonna keep going. And the mentors pick which designers will face elimination by the buyers. This was a very difficult decision. Welcome back to Fashion Star. A huge cheer. It's down to Macy's for David's cardigan. Are you going to give David his first bid of the season? Uh. I don't get it. Erica, why didn't Express go for this? Your fabric choice, um, while it was lightweight, if any guy has anything in his midsection, it's going to really cling. So mm -hmm. you can't just be a model and a total beefcake. There's a guy in between that. Thank you. OK. Hunter. <laughs> you know, you have earned the most, with $275,000 worth of sales so far. Amazing. Kudos. <laughs> you know, you're so composed and calm that perhaps there's more, more to your story than meets the eye. Right, right. Um, mm, yeah, I've just been... Sorry. It's been, oh, a challenge. Um, you know, this year I almost quit. And I was just so stressed. And there's so many doors that, you know, get closed. And you just wonder, you know, how you're going to keep going. But I love it. <laughs> well done. That's really great. Buyers, any bids for Hunter's dress? No? Yes! Oh. <laughs> Erica, you believe in the power of the peplum? We absolutely do. I thought the length of it was great. I love the animal print that you offered in it. So it's a home run for us. Thank you. Jesse Ray and Garrett and Hunter, congratulations. You guys are safe. I am sorry, David, you will be up for elimination. Thank you, designers. Four designers failed to sell their looks tonight, and soon one of them will be packing their bags and going home. It's all up to Jessica, Nicole, and John to determine which two designers they are putting up for elimination. What I thought I made, I thought was sellable to the masses. Like, I don't even know what to do next. I understand having to put David up because this is his third week in a row. But I do feel that he is still strong. I think the biggest challenge for me is Joanna, though. I think she's going to mm -hmm. have a hard time getting by Taryn. More than Priscilla? Well, Priscilla's quite specific as well, I, I would agree. What? You're definitely not taking Daniel out. Absolutely not. I mean, I feel like Joanna's stronger than David only because David's never been bought. I mean, I really believe that David has a good design aesthetic. Mentors, have you reached a decision? Daniel, you're actually safe tonight. <laughs> Daniel, you can go backstage.
this was a very difficult decision to make tonight. And we're actually at a stalemate. Unfortunately, we can't make a decision, so all three of you guys are up for elimination tonight. Okay, Macy's, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Express, you will each be casting one vote for the contestant you wish to eliminate tonight. Erica, who are you sending home tonight? I'm sorry, but Priscilla. Taryn. David, I'm sending you home tonight. Caprice. I am so sorry. But David, you're not our fashion star. I would have liked to go out with a bye, but I put my heart and all my effort into every single piece. And I was dying what I wanted. Even if the buyers didn't like it, I was super happy about it. And I couldn't ask for more. See you next week when it gets even hotter on Fashion Star. Our designers are creating looks for the summer. See you guys then. You've seen what the buyers have purchased, now it's your turn. Express is selling Cassandra's tunic and Hunter's peplum dress. Saks has Amber's lace dress and Jessie Ray and Garrett's cow neck dress. And at Macy's, Brandon's collared shirt and Sylvia's A-line coat dress. Time is running out. Go online now to purchase these great designs. Here's a look at what's happening on the next all-new Fashion Star here on NBC. Next Friday, it's a Fashion Star first. This week, the designers have to work as a team. But working together may tear them apart. This is why I typically work alone. You think my dress is ugly? Tell me to my face. I want to ball it up, throw it in the trash can. And one designer... Okay, hold the phone. ...will change the game forever. What? Totally shocking. We're above that. What just happened? New Fashion Star, next Friday at 8, 7 central, here on NBC.